goes on fam i have not made a youtube video in a while but i asked you guys all to ask me some juicy questions on my tiktok because that's my biggest platform everybody who's watching from tiktok you guys are incredible thank you for coming on here i'm definitely going to be answering a bunch of your questions you guys asked a bunch of questions uh, let's get started i'm going to try to shout out people but we'll see looking through all of these i think one of the biggest questions besides who is your like tiktok crush is do you have a boyfriend i do not have a boyfriend i am single i am uh <laughs> i am single guys <laughs> yeah just because a lot of people are commenting the same thing i don't want to shout out one specific person but a lot of people ask what's your tiktok crush i don't have a tiktok crush i wish i did but i don't i'm sorry <laughs> xx underscore alice dot dot edits asks who is your celebrity crush okay i have quite a few i have to <laughs> one of them being like luke bracy come up he's beautiful uh matt zucri another beautiful man ben barnes beautiful man tom hiddleston beautiful man like just beautiful you know with sassy critic i love you what inspired you to start a tiktok account um oh my gosh i don't even know my cousins were on tiktok my younger cousins and i had gotten it in like november of last year and deleted it after like three days because like it was really addictive and I just didn't want to like continue to watch. But then like I started noticing all the TikTok videos that were on Instagram. They were pretty much all TikTok videos, all the funny videos. And I was like, okay, well, let me go re-download TikTok because I didn't make any videos at that time. I became addicted all over again. So I started making videos myself. So fun and one of the funnest apps, honestly, ever. So yeah, underscore M underscore 2008 underscore. Do you have a hair care routine? If yes, what is it? My hair care routine changes all the time. That's why my hair looks different in literally every single video. The biggest thing I can just say is don't straighten your hair if you have curly hair. Don't do it. it ruins your hair. I did not straighten my hair as much as everyone else did. Basically, I straightened my hair like twice a year because it was just so much work. I hated the heat, I hated sitting down, I just didn't like that. So my hair is significantly curlier than my sister's hair who straightened it like every day of ninth grade. Don't wash your hair every single day. It's not good for your hair. Your hair needs the natural oils. I don't think I have a routine. Like I said, I switch it up, but I do stick to those main principles. No heat, don't wash your hair every day. I definitely put in like curling, any like creamy curling cream, that'll work. So I use that, so yeah potatoes dot underscore dot r dot dot cool you guys with your dots and your underscore i am 22 years old this question is pretty popular in my lives i'm 22 years old hopefully that sticks i'm 22 years old yep i know i look younger than i actually am but i'm 22 guys i am the underscore cameron ball do you play any instruments do you play any instruments if so what attracted you to the instruments i do play an instrument i play the ukulele as you can see Hold on one second. Okay. I play the ukulele. What drew me to this instrument? Grace Vanderbilt. That's my answer. I'm also pretty good at piano, but my dad gave my piano away. What drew me to that instrument was Emily Bear. So I am inspired by people. Aubryn Taman one asks, what made you decide you wanted to be an English major? Um, Basically, my l I just always knew that I was going to be... <laughs> in English major. Uh, I love books. I love stories. I love film. I love reading. I love writing. Just It just was so obvious to me that all of my college classes lean towards English. All of my high school classes lean toward English and writing. So I just always knew that's what I wanted. And my English teachers were some of the most amazing people ever. So yeah, definitely that. R-T-W-O collect O. Oh, um, asks how many kids do you want when you're older um I'm not sure I'm not sure how much kids I can handle um I think the smaller amounts I think two is a good good amount maybe three is pushing it I think but my thing is I want to adopt I really want to adopt so I d definitely want my first child to be adopted and I say this because I adoption is you guys know this if you've seen some of my older older videos adoption is a huge huge thing for me I really care about getting kids out of terrible like foster system and anyway I just it was really passionate for me and I really want to adopt so whether you're pro-life or pro-choice I know this is kind of like <laughs> but whether you're pro-life or pro-choice I think everyone should be pro-adoption 
I just think if, especially if you're pro-life, if you're pro-life and you're saying someone should um, have the child and put them up for adoption, please be willing to adopt yourself if you're gonna tell people to do that. Denise.B11, do you still live with your parents? I do. YOLO underscore my dudes asks, who was your crush when you were younger? Danny Phantom, Miguel from My Miguel. Um, ugh, Aang, I loved Aang. Um, yeah, those were my crushes. Yeah, definitely. Also Ben Barnes, so. Derek.East asks, what's a story that is too much for you to tell us on TikTok? Um, there's actually a few stories that I've refrained from telling because I don't know how you guys would respond to them, but you guys have been really incredible about all my stories, even things that I had to say on live. Um, basically, there's some stories that involve like people getting hurt and I don't know if I want to share them because even though they're pretty crazy and they're like their stories and they are a part of my life so I have every right to tell them because I was there. Um, it just, I don't know, it just makes me feel weird sharing it. Um, I know the people involved wouldn't mind but I'm just saying like I don't know how you guys would respond to it. Like maybe we should have, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know, there's just, there's just some things. But I'm, I I know I will be sharing this, but maybe not right this second. Hold on. Meh, love life. <laughs> what language do you like more, Spanish or English? I love the Spanish language, and I think it's so great because it expands my world. Like, I get to watch films in Spanish, I get to watch Spanish-made songs, and it just expands my world. It really does. If you only know one language, you can only experience... Well, you can go out and listen to, like, anything, but, like, you can only truly experience one tiny part of the world that speaks English. When you know more languages, your world expands and you are able to experience more things. And I don't know, I just really like that. Don't underscore look underscore at underscore my at underscore username one. <laughs> Will you be posting more on YouTube after this video? Yes, I'm gonna try to post once a week at least. I like talking videos, so I do wanna make more full length stories on here. If you guys have a, a, a question, I definitely wanna post it on here. Or maybe just like consecutive Dora voices on here, I don't know. Donova.2 asks, do you have any siblings? Are you team Android or team Apple? I do have siblings, I'm the youngest of five. Um, so that means I have four siblings. Uh, I am team Apple, but I'm not a hardcore team apple person so i'm not gonna tell somebody that their android sucks you know what i'm saying i used to have an android too i see the benefit of both i personally like iphone i at the end of the day i don't really care as long as my phone has a good camera quality you know what i'm saying yeah 835 alex says how did you learn that you can do the dora voice basically i learned it when i found out that i was auditioning for dora and they sent me the sides and i started practicing the dora voice and then boom i figured it out i don't know Derek.East, oh, asked another question. Is there a story time that you regret posting? If so, which one is it? I don't regret posting any of my story times, like any of them. And I know there's so, so many more to come. Hopefully I don't regret posting any of them because I really love all the story time videos. <laughs> They're fun. So yeah. Ava, Aya Vlogs YT. What are the top three ways you deal with stress? Um, prayer is huge for me. I need to like step away, go to the bathroom possibly, just maybe pace a little and start praying. Ask for God to like relieve my stress or it feels like way, way too much. And yeah, I feel like that's the best way for me to deal with stress, honestly. Um, watching an episode of your favorite TV show is also a huge thing. Should, Drinking water, making sure- Oh, sorry. Drinking water, making sure you're good. Just, yeah. Hello, I am Steve One. What characters do you associate yourself with? Okay, you guys, these are some characters that I associate myself. Rory Gilmore from like seasons one to like three. That's that. That's me. That was me. I was super ap academic, super book nerdy, just very like rule follower. I yeah, she's. I was. I'm a lot crazier than her. Like I'm a lot louder and a lot a lot more more. Anyway, but her eating habits and her book habits, definitely me. Simba from The Lion King, he was me when I was a kid. Um, just just rambunctious and like wants to do the best thing, but honestly ends up screwing everything up and is super hyper and like just super imaginative, me. Aang from Last Airbender is me to like a T, like super, that is, I've never seen myself more than an Aang. Like he's very, 
he's a pacifist, but he's also a vegetarian. He's also very spiritual and wise, but he also feels like the whole world is on his shoulders, but he also feels stress and he also feels anxious and he deals with things a certain way. And when I see that, I'm like, oh my God, that is, that's me. It's just, it's insane how much alike we are. So yeah, I hope that answers the question. Nadia77, what are three main things you want to do in life? Definitely want to act in film. I definitely want to write a book and maybe own a bakery one day. Yeah. And travel the world. I know that's four things, but like, I just want to do that. Ed351, what city were you born? I was born in Queens, New York. Yeah, me and Spider-Man were super close. Besties, best friends. Yeah, until the joined the Avengers and they forgot about me. Skating rocks 21 how did you get so good at judging movies that is a great question um basically i took a bunch of film classes i read so many film books and i watch a lot of film analysis uh video essays on youtube on pretty much every movie i've seen i go and watch a film essay or film review on it right afterwards um and i do read articles about it and i do pay attention to imdb and i read imdb all the time so i'm just constantly analyzing the acting the directing the editing the flow the pacing the um, music the dialogue um there's so many things to analyze when it comes to movies the cgi like there's just so many things you need to analyze when it comes to movies whether and that helps determine whether or not it's good or not but if you enjoy a movie just because it's fun, doesn't necessarily have to be good. You can just enjoy it. Like there are plenty of movies that are not necessarily good in most of those categories, but I really enjoy them and I love them. So yeah, it just really depends on your research and depends on what you're looking for. So yeah. Lou Marys dot B. How did your first date go? So yeah, I've never been on a date. Not really actually. Like I date my friends all the time because of course we all do, but I've never been on like a date date. <laughs> it's gross. Um, yeah, I don't like the idea of that. My idea of like falling in love and all that is like some sort of crazy adventure, you know, tangled style. That's that's my idea of falling in love. So when that happens, I'll let you guys know. I mean, you guys know my life is a story. My life is like a movie. But I did do have this crazy story time that kind of had a date involved in it, which was super crazy. It was like out of a movie and I will be sharing that on TikTok one day. Just not yet. It's coming, I promise. Thank you guys so much for watching all of this. Um, I think that wraps everything up. I'm sure there's a bunch more questions, but I've been recording for a while now. So thank you guys so much. Please continue to like and subscribe and all of that. And go follow me on TikTok if you haven't. Go follow me on Instagram. You guys are incredible. Love you. Bye. Yo te amo.